Hello YouTube. Um, I am making this video here because I wanted to share some information about an experience that I had um, with something with a um, an eye condition, and it was a it was a long process and a pretty rough process. And when I was going through um, my recurrent corneal erosion after an eye injury, I couldn't find any information online about. Uh, you know, whether or not it was curable, whether or not it would actually go away, or if anybody had any success stories. So I told myself if I ever did um, have success in dealing with this condition that I would, I'd make a video and I'd share my experience. So once again, I had recurrent corneal erosion, um, and it was as a result of my daughter when she was uh, one month older, or I'm sorry, six months old or something. Uh, she kind of took a, just a random arm swipe and she took a chunk out of my cornea in my right eye. You know, um, if you're here, you know what recurrent corneal erosion is. You know, months later I was waking up at five in the morning, terrible eye pain, and it just kept, the new tissue kept getting ripped out and getting stuck to my eyelids and was getting ripped out. So, if you know what it is, you, you know that it's, it's a real pain, um, it, it's excruciating and it, it doesn't ever go away. It just keeps coming back every couple days or weeks or whatever, depending on conditions. So, uh, first of all, I'm not a doctor. You don't have to take my advice. I'm just sharing my experience for the hope that it, it gives you some hope and maybe some knowledge and some things to ask your doctor about. So, got that out of the way. Um, so yeah, let's see. Things that I tried to, to use to deal with, and these were all things that were relatively effective to a degree but not ultimately game changers for me. Um, so don't sleep with the fan on, turn your fans off, uh, keep your room uh, decently humid, especially in the winter when um, the heat is on and it's drying out the house, it's really rough. So try to keep your humidity level fairly high. Um, you can use blindfolds, sleep blindfolds to try to keep your eye moisture in. Um, use nighttime drops, nighttime ointments, uh, yeah, stuff like Vaseline qual consistency. Uh, so I ended up using something called Miro 128 ointment, which was pretty good. It was very good. And it was basically this little, it was expensive too, with like little Vaseline stuff. You pull out your eyelid and you just kind of squirt it in there before bed. It's disgusting. And once, you, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Um, your vision's just all blurry after you use it. So I was using that nightly, I fan off, humidifier on, blindfold, uh, I was doing uh, warm compresses on my eye before bed, uh, avoid alcohol, drink lots of water. I was doing all of that stuff religiously, and it still wasn't completely effective, but it did help. So, and all the while I was going to an optometrist uh, who initially just said, you have recurrent corneal erosion. He wrote it down on a postcard. And he said, all right, you know, good luck. Bye. So I was like, okay, you know, and that, that was my intro to this very confusing thing. One more reason why I'm making this video, because like he wasn't, you know, not a lot of people are willing to help. So I went to see an ophthalmologist. Uh, he, oh, he gave me a plug in the tear duct. He plugged up my tear duct so that it wasn't, so that it might, the eye moisture wasn't going down the tear duct. That helped a little bit too, um, but not much. Um, I was going through a cycle of different eye drops and different oint ointments and stuff. Like this one, this one will take care of it. Okay, I tried it, didn't work. This one will take care of it. Okay, I tried it, didn't work. You know, this all amounts to about a year, a year and a half of like treatment and different kind of stuff that I was doing. Um, and I was still having episodes, you know, waking up at three, four, five in the morning in excruciating pain, which if you do, if that does happen, you know, jump in the shower, turn on the hot water, put your head down <coughs> and let the tear just kind of collect right there on your wound. And that's about as much relief as you'll get just sitting there with your head down with a big old tear sitting there in the shower. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about as much relief as you can get after it happens. So God, I switched to a different ophthalmologist. He wanted to put me on, um, medication uh, to treat dry eye, because that's probably the cause of all of this, is your eyes are too dry to stay lubricated. So he wanted to put me on those 
medicate it drops, but just, re you know, reading the reviews and how awful and life-changing it was, some people said it made it worse. Um, some people, you know, it takes away your taste. You don't taste anything after you use it because it, it goes down your tear ducts into the back of your throat and then into your mouth, and then it messes up your taste for the whole day. And it would, some people said it was very painful and you have to do it multiple times a day. But it was the people who said it made everything worse that I was like, I can't risk that. So <clears throat> I switched to a different ophthalmologist, went through another cycle of drops and this and that and treatments. And then here we go, we get to the good part. The treatment that eventually did work for me. Um, I don't know how experimental it was. I've never seen anybody talking about this before, but he ended up, he uh, used, I think, something called a PKI laser, which is some sort of laser that they use for surgeries. And he uh, went to the, the affected area that kept getting the tissue worn, eroded off, and he basically was like fusing down straight into the eye with the laser. He just put like probably 50, he shot it like 50 times right at the area, just all around, you know, trying to cover the area with dots. And basically, you know, he's making a burn in the tissue that goes deeper than the cornea. Um, so that when that burn healed, it was healing all the way down and not just on that surface level area. So it was kind of like, it was kind of like a weld or a stake. The new tissue was going down. So, by the way, I, I do have light colored eyes, so pain is supposedly in the eye, your eyes are more sensitive if you have light colored eyes, but he said that that wouldn't be a painful process at all. The process, the, the, the laser wasn't painful, but I left the office and about an hour later when the numbing wore off, I was in excruciating pain, worse than any of the erosions incidents that I had. So I woke up, I, I was, at that point it was five in the afternoon, I was in excruciating pain, we had to race back over there to try and get to them before they closed and uh, I got some numbing drops from him that I was using like numbing drops all day and night long until I could finally get back to that freaking doctor. Um, I mean bless him he caused me the worst pain of my life but he also eventually cured this thing so um, and he gave me a bandage contact lens the next day. Thank God that helped. So once you get that, if you get that procedure done or any kind of procedure, make sure you, you request that they put a bandage contact lens on it. Otherwise, geez, oh man, that was ridiculous pain. So I got the, the laser surgery done. And then the next day, finally got a bandage contact lens on. And uh, it ended up being on for just about a week, a little less than a week, the bandage contact lens. Um, he took it off and everything felt pretty good. I didn't really have any erosions. I did eventually have two or three more noticeable ones, but they were less severe. And I mean, that first one that happened after the surgery, I was so discouraged, but, and then like they were, they got really far between and really um, much less severe. And within a few months, like when that next winter came around and the house dried out, I think I was having them every once in a while, not very often, but they were so mild that I, I would wake up, you know, at my normal time and I would have a memory. Like, I think I had an erosion last night. You wake up, your eye kind of hurts, but then you just kind of go back to sleep. And by the time you wake up, it's better. So they were really, really mild. And then at this point I can say, I haven't had any erosions. I don't even think I've had any erosions for, it's been at least probably a year. I think it's been about a year. So, you know, knock on wood, I think I'm in the clear here, but um, yeah, uh, it's a hell of a process. So good luck to you. I uh, do seek treatment. Honestly, I would even get that diamond scrub thing that they do where they just take a diamond brush and scrape off your whole cornea. I would do that if I had to. I would just do whatever it took to get rid of those stupid things because they were awful. So anyway, that's my experience. Um, 
<coughs> I think I'm going to title this video How I Beat or Cured Corneal Erosion, just so that people can find it. Um, you know, do seek treatment. And uh, yeah, good luck to you. All right.